No single Liverpool player divides opinion quite like the Uruguayan star Darwin Nunez. Many fans can't seem to decide whether he has been a flop or not. And we also agree the reality is that the 24-year-old has neither been an instant hit nor a flop at Anfield. For instance, he scored 15 and assisted 4 in his first season playing 42 games. Many expected a lot from him though. One thing we can all agree on though is that the striker is entertaining to watch. He is raw and erratic at times, but the potential is clear and the agent of chaos tag he carries can be considered a backhanded compliment. What many don't know is that when he was breaking through into the first team at 17, he had a career-ending injury and almost quit playing football because the pain was unbearable. So keep it here as we chronicle Darwin's story from Artigas to Anfield. The Nunes brothers started their footballing journey in the dusty streets of Artigas. For Nunes, football was an escape. His family struggled, fueled him. He badly wanted to succeed so that he would give his family a better life. Nunes possessed talent and the much-needed dedication. As the saying goes, when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you achieve it. Fate played its part. Jose Perdomo, a former Penarol FC legend and scout, spotted Nunes playing and he was immediately convinced that he was something special and would ascend to the top. In 2014, Nunes left Artigas and enrolled at the Penarol Academy, one of the biggest clubs in Uruguay, situated in the capital Montevideo. Football was no longer a hobby for Nunes, it was an opportunity for him to save his family from a life of deprivation. He had his brother alongside him at Penarol, but it wasn't for too long. A football was not yet profitable for them, and considering their parents' joint income was not enough to feed the family, not to mention of buying football essentials for the boys, Junior decided to sacrifice his dreams of being a footballer to go find a job to help support the family. He told Darwin that he could make it in football, so he should keep working at it. Essentially, he sacrificed his dream just so his younger brother could go ahead and live his. What a great sacrifice. Ever since then, Darwin has idolised his older brother. The journey was now starting. A long, winding road lay ahead. He knew he had to work hard to deliver on his promises to his family to repay them for their sacrifices. One thing could eventually guide him on his journey up the fire he had burning inside his belly, and little by little he worked his way up successfully progressing through the ranks. Everything seemed to be going well for Nunes, until one day when disaster struck during a third division game. It was late 2016, Fernando Corochet, the director of Penarol's academy, had been tasked to take charge of the first team for the final few games of the season. His was to simply steady the ship, but he had other plans. He wanted to introduce the world to the irrepressible explosive striker who for years in the youth league had been making mincemeat of opposition defenders. Despite Nunes being only 17, Kurochet knew he was ready, but there was a small matter. The under-23 team were fighting for a league title and Nunes wanted to help them win the title one more time before joining the senior team. Kurochet reluctantly assented and later after the game, instead of the usual good news of Nunes terrorising defenders, in came devastating news. Nunes had gone up to challenge for a header in the match against South America and landed awkwardly, with his knee buckling under the weight of his body, tearing his anterior cruciate ligament. When such an injury occurs at 16, your hopes of turning pro diminished by the second, faced by the gravity of the injury, the trauma of surgery and a lengthy rehabilitation, and a return to his hometown Artigas, Darwin was close to abandoning his dream of playing on the big European stage. He fell into depression, but thanks to his mental fortitude and yet again thanks to his brother and teammates, Darwin never surrendered. After nine months on the sidelines, Darwin finally made his return and his coach awarded him resilience with a first team debut in November 2017, but it would soon turn into yet another nightmare. The debut would end in tears. His knee was still causing him discomfort. It's either he returned too soon or his injury had reoccurred. He needed further treatment, which meant another lengthy layoff. He once again showed exemplary determination and was back six months later. In June 2018, playing with Penarol, he was then called up to Uruguay's under-20 squad for the World Cup and things started to change. It was this momentum that he took back to Penarol and his subsequent from caught the eye of European clubs. And no, it was not Real Madrid or PSG, rather Almeria playing in the Spanish second division. He finally made the move to UD 
Al Meriem in the summer of 2019 for just $4.5 million, signing a five-year deal and becoming the most expensive sale in Penarol's history. The move might not have been the most prestigious, but at least it helped him do one thing, keep his promise. As soon as I was transferred to Spain, I bought my parents six hectares of land in Montevideo, recalls Nunes. He stayed in Spain for just one season, scoring 16 goals in 32 matches and building quite a reputation in the process. While in Spain, his fellow countryman Luis Suarez, who was with Barcelona at the time, was doing agency work for him. He told the Catalan club about how good Almeria's new boy was and insisted they sign him, but at the time Barcelona could not afford to sign Nunez as they passed on the offer despite being impressed. The likes of Brighton and other Italian teams too showed their interest, but it was Benefica who, seeing how good he was, smashed their club record transfer to take the Uruguayan to Portugal. The 24 million euros Benefica paid was also Almeria's most expensive sale and the highest ever in Spain's second division. It was a new beginning for Nunez, but somehow it did not go according to plan. It was not a tale of he lived happily thereafter. He started off just fine and he was having a good time at Benfica, but then the knee injury came back. In May 2021, he suffered an injury to his right knee and he was operated on. Yet again, he stayed out for three months, but then when he returned, he was totally a changed man. He was a beast. September 2021 was the month for Nunes. He scored consecutive races in the league and another one against Barcelona in the Champions League and was named player of the match. That month he won Benefica player of the month as well as Premier Liga player of the month. From then on Nunes could not stop scoring. He scored the only goal as Benefica knocked out Ajax in the round of 16, scored against Liverpool in the quarterfinals. The second against Liverpool made him Benefica's top scorer in the Champions League at just 22 years of age and the performance against Liverpool convinced the Merseyside club that he was the kind of player that they would want to Anfield. He finished the season as the top scorer and by the summer Liverpool paid 75 million euros for his services. His first appearance in a Liverpool shirt was against Manchester City. He came off the bench in the Community Shield and won a penalty before scoring to help Liverpool to victory. It's not been smooth sailing for Nunes at Liverpool with the criticisms thanks partly to his on and off again form but that's a road well travelled by the Uruguayan. He has faced similar criticisms over and over again in all the clubs he has played including the national team, but he always retaliates in the best way possible by scoring and scoring more and more. This is a player who grew in a harsh environment, who almost quit playing after he was sidelined for almost two years and undergoing two surgeries. Resilience is his strongest weapon yet, and that has been Darwin Nunez's story. Do you think his second season at Liverpool will be even better? Let us know in the comments section.